We finally got a Makluba video out of Foodie, but alas, no trademark Makluba flip. That's because she and Salah went and had it in a restaurant. You may recall that I did a pair of videos about this back in January. The first was this recipe video showing you how to make this dish. It's really cool, just layers of vegetables, meat, and rice all cooked together in one pot. The second video was about how significant the absence of Makluba flip videos was in Foodie's depiction of everyday Kuwaiti life. This is because Makluba is more or less a big celebration dish. It's what somebody makes for a special guest to welcome them into their home or to celebrate life's big events. So it was pretty significant that Foodie hadn't yet shown it in any videos by January. So before I get started, there is a little bit of controversy with this video. Foodie's already deleted it from her channel because people were being really vocal about how she looked sitting on the ground eating the food. And I'm just gonna talk about Makluba as a dish and what it means in Foodie's life as far as her relationship with Salah goes. Personally, I think it's really neat that a single dish like Makluba can say so much about a person, their relationships, and their culture. Let's get on to this video. First up is the pomegranate watercress salad. It has pomegranates, watercress, sliced tomatoes, sliced onions, and a delicious pomegranate vinaigrette made with pomegranate molasses. Here we have some mixed pickles and some mabuch, which is chopped chilies, green and red, and some hot sauce. Here is the makluba served first with a side of tomato broth with potatoes inside. And now the kapsa. A lot of people here traditionally eat with their hands, so I thought I would give it a try. And forgive me, but I made a mess. I make a mess anyway, but more so now. <laughs> you know, it wasn't that bad, eating with my hands. I didn't mind it at all, and throughout the video, I do alternate between using my hands and a spoon. The makluba was so savory. It had a lot of hints of cardamom and saffron and Middle Eastern spices. Delicious. The only problem at first eating with my hands was how hot the food was, but it turned out to be okay, minus the messiness. <laughs> eggplant was so soft and delicious in that most things taste good fried so <laughs> I wasn't surprised that the eggplant was delicious. The chicken was actually really juicy and easy to break apart and the whole meal was just really hearty and filling and very healthy with all of the vegetables even fried at least their vegetables and the greens complementing the meal were also a very healthy addition as well. Why do I eat like a toddler though? <laughs> Time for mabuch, and the green mabuch is made with milder chilies, so the red is more spicy, and that is what I'm opting for. And it turned out to be pretty spicy, as you will see <laughs> in my facial expression. I was noting here basically that it's easier actually to eat with your hands when you're eating something like makluba rather than a spoon because the vegetables are so large and chunky. This piece of fried cauliflower had all kinds of spices and sauce stuck to it, and it was a heavenly bite. So mid-meal, Salah hands me this bowl, and I thought it was just another soup, but it turns out that it was dakus, and one of the bowls was the tomato and potato soup, and this was the dakus, which is a tomato garlic sauce that you add to rice. It usually accompanies many rice dishes here in Kuwait, and it's really good. The tomato is a fresh tomato flavor, and then you have the garlic as well. The dakus just adds a whole extra layer of flavor complexity, if that makes any sense. I think makluba is one of my favorite dishes I've tried so far here in the Middle East, alongside the chicken machbus, which also comes with dakus sauce. The fried potatoes are thinly sliced and they practically melt in your mouth. They are so delicious and soft. Now before I go, I thought I'd leave you with this cute compilation of TikTok videos showing different Makluba flips. As you can see, it's a dish best enjoyed with lots of friends and family, and that's kind of what makes me sad about this video of foodies. 
it seems to indicate that she's not exactly in Salah's inner circle and that nobody has really embraced her yet. So it's little things like this that make the food that she eats very significant. I'll include the link to my recipe video in the description box if you want to try to make this yourself. Oh, and before I forget, roca is the word for arugula, not watercress. I don't know how many times I have to mention this. So if you want to try to make this, makluba is a very delicious dish. It's not difficult, you just need a little bit of time. Drop me a line in the comments and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you.